In this video, we're going to look at a brief introduction to the sine rule and the cosine rule. We can use the sine rule or the cosine rule to find missing lengths and angles in non-right angle triangles. In the past, we've looked at right angle triangles. If we needed to find a missing length, we would choose either Pythagoras theorem or the trig ratios. If we needed to find a missing angle, we would use the trig ratios, or if you like, so tower. We'll still use those if we have a right angle triangle, but when it comes to non-right angle triangles, we will use either the sine rule or the cosine rule. In this video, I'm simply going to show you which one to use and when. In later videos, we will look at the rules and answer a range of questions on them. So to start with, I'm going to look at finding a missing length in a non-right angle triangle. So let's just write here length, and I'm going to start with the cosine rule. I'm going to draw up a triangle and put the triangle on like so. I'm just going to put some values on here. Let's say that this angle was going to be 30 degrees, this length was going to be 10 meters, and this length was going to be 13.1 meters. I'm going to call my unknown side x. If we have an enclosed angle, we use the cosine rule to find the missing length. When I'm talking about an enclosed angle, the 30 degree angle is between a known side of 10 meters and a known side of 13.1 meters. So we have the scenario here where we have an enclosed angle. To be able to use the cosine rule to find a missing length, we will be given one known angle and two known sides. This will allow us to find now the missing side. This is when we use the cosine rule. Enclosed angle, so the 30 degrees is enclosed, and we have a known angle and two known sides. Let's look at finding a length using the sine rule. With the sine rule, we don't have an enclosed angle. So again, if I just draw a triangle up, I'll put some different values on this time. Let's say that this is going to be, we'll say that this is going to be 35 degrees. I'm going to say that this side length is going to be 6 millimetres. I'm going to say that this angle here is going to be 42 degrees. And I'm going to say that the unknown side is going to be X. Here, we don't have an enclosed angle. So this time we do, this time we don't. To be able to use the sine rule to find a missing length, we need to have two given or known angles and one known or given side. So that gives us now the condition for the sine rule. The way I like to think about it now is, have I got an enclosed angle? If not, I'm going to use the sine rule. If I've got an enclosed, I use the cosine rule. Okay, let's look at finding a missing angle. Looking at the cosine rule, this again, I think it's easier to define whether we use the cosine rule before we do anything else. I'm going to call this angle here x. The angle might be theta, for example. I'm just going to call it x. Let's say that this is going to be 7.1 and we'll say that that's centimetres. Let's say this is going to be 8.3 centimetres and this is going to be 9.7 centimetres. To use the cosine rule to find a missing angle, we will be given three side lengths. So three sides, three known sides. And that will allow us to use the cosine rule to find the missing angle. So if we look at the angle, finding a missing angle using the sine rule, again, drawing a triangle now, let's go ahead and draw that. I'll put on some different values here, so let's grab up the pen. Let's put that this angle is going to be, and we'll call this one here x, that is the angle x which we want to find. Let's say that I've got this angle here, and I'll say that this is going to be 39 degrees. Let's say that this one is going to be 5.2 metres. This one is going to be 6.7 metres. We would use the sine rule to find a missing angle 
if we have one given angle, so that's one given angle, and two given or known sides. So these, again, are the conditions where we would use the sine rule. Again, we have a non-enclosed angle. So if you want to think of cosine as enclosed and sine rule as non-enclosed, that may help you out. If you want to jot these down or take a shot of these, these will be really helpful. In the next video, we're going to introduce the sine rule and look at applying it. And then in the following video, we will look at the cosine rule. So just to recap, we can use the sine rule and the cosine rule to find missing lengths and angles in non-right angle triangles. For lengths, we use the cosine rule if we have an enclosed angle, one given angle and two given sides. We use the sine rule for a missing length if we're given two angles and one side. We use the cosine rule to find a missing angle if we're given three sides, i.e. it's an enclosed angle. And we use the sine rule to find an angle with one given angle and two given sides, so we have a non-enclosed angle.